Welcome back to my let's play of Eternal Dagger. I actually still have the save game that I was using uh, before I stopped my recordings. It's actually pretty much almost at the beginning of the next game here. So I made a change in regards to how I'm going to tackle the final dungeon. Uh, no, I, well, actually, let me go and leave camp real quick, and I'll show you where I'm at. So, yes. All right, we got to go select our drives. All right, there's two. Here we go. Okay, so we're we're back at the uh, at the town city or whatever you want to call it, uh, dwarf Um So let's go and make camp again, and as you can see, overall uh, our life forces are getting quite high so I was planning to again with the final dungeon where you go underwater uh, I changed my initial plan of using bows for uh, characters that didn't have them I'm just gonna make them substitute sorcerers instead so I'm gonna uh, if there's a staff with uh, magic blast I'll just give it to them and they'll and they'll use that so uh, I'm not going to develop bull as a secondary skill, so I I changed my mind in regards to that. I I hadn't done it yet, but uh, I was going to, but I changed my mind on that just because there's very few fights in the underwater dungeon in the first place, and it really doesn't justify spending a couple hundred experience points just for only a few fights. So. Uh, that is my rationale. Uh, as I mentioned before, you can see that I have over 750 gold. Uh, my previous, uh, my previous treks through this game without recording and documenting it, uh, from my memory, uh, the Dwarven Patrol seemed to love to ambush you in the southern part of the aisle uh, specifically the uh, southeast seems to be a hot spot for them to do it I haven't had that happen to me yet I certainly expect it to happen um, hopefully our let's check our point person so just in case inspect a so he has a stealth of 250 and a scan of 250 um, and of course, axe skill 250, so hunt is at 201, that's sufficient. Uh, all the other skills are at 100, but that was based off of training that I did way back in Wizard's Crown. I'm actually uh, finishing up uh, another run of Wizard's Crown on the Apple version, but you're not going to see that, so... I figure you're not interested in that. You're more interested in me finishing up finally uh, after many years of not completing it. Uh, you want me to see the end. You want to see the end of this game. So uh, I intend to deliver on that. So let's go ahead. So what do we got? We got a reinforcing ring. Uh, we got our drain proof scale armor that's good we're gonna need that because I re I looked at one of my uh, previous videos we were running into uh, uh, problems in regards to life drain but we have rectified that with staves that are now in our backpack so let's look at the backpack no I just got warm plate mail for him do I got it for character B let's check no. Okay, so yeah, this plus six scale, I didn't enchant it, I just found it as is, so 
Uh, I probably, in retrospect, shouldn't have enchanted the Elven Rings to plus five, but given how much gold I had to spare already, um, it's probably not a bad idea. It helps a little anyway. All right, let's check. Now, I don't know if I discussed this previously, but with paralyzing, there's about a 25% chance that each hit with the spear will take out an enemy in regards to combat for that particular hit. So that includes anything um, with magic resistance, but there may be exceptions to that. Uh, I would expect like the necromancer although you can't have this weapon when you face the necromancer but uh, I expect the demon SRI to be totally resistant to this I also expect that uh, hitting a goomba with it would do no good but I already went into his lair there's no need to go in there a second time and let me think if there's anybody else that yeah the demon bearer Arcturus probably can't be taken out with this weapon either so but he's on the western side of the island I was going uh, uh, to the uh, to the southern part of the island so I, I'll go back there Again, I have a pretty good memory of where I left off at on the southeast part of the aisle. I was clearing that out, so uh, I definitely don't want to go into the SRI layer without maxing out in terms of uh, experience, life force, or what have you. Let's check our next character. And he has reinforcing bracelet. He has drainproof brigandine. Just a shield. All right, let's check D. So yeah, I definitely gonna keep using the plus seven great sword. And look at that. I can use a shield with it, but. The special thing is this shield came from the Alvis tower so that's why I can use it because it is there and only there that you run into those plus two shields that don't require any hands so very nice item to use for like your bow users or anyone with the two-handed weapon like this character has so uh, the only other weapon that my sword character can use, there's a uh, a broadsword, but it does flame damage, and uh, I'm just going to go with uh, physical damage. There's no uh, magical type of damage with the plus 7 great sword. But look at how much damage it does. 28 cut. So that's pretty significant. In Wizard Crown, there are very sharp items that you may run into when you uh, successfully win a fight. So you go and pick those up because you need them for uh, finding Tarmon, who's at the end of the game in the, uh, the palace uh, dungeons. So... Uh, but in, a, in Wizard's Crown, very sharp items only give 10 bonus, so a cut damage of 24 is the maximum that you would get in Wizard's Crown. Here, we get 28, so wow. And the bonus is nothing to sneeze at, so yeah, this, this weapon far surpasses... Uh, in terms of physical damage anything that you're ever going to encounter so but it's physical damage only so there's the uh two-handed uh 
a the double-edged sword so to speak it's it's physical and only physical damage so no life drain no cold damage no fire no holy nothing just physical all right what else have we got he's got reinforcing oh okay so i improved that so and i got a dwarven ring oh i just totally stacked this guy up so he's as you can see he has an elven ring a dwarven ring and a reinforcing pendant so let's see here so now look at how much damage protection he has so he has bash protection 45 cut 45 thrust 45 flame and knife drain at 47 so my idea for better or for worse was to totally protect this guy as much as I could reasonably and let him wail away with that plus seven great sword is that a good idea it would probably be better for like uh, the characters to have the life drain weapons like the character with the uh, life drain great axe but I gotta stick with him with the uh, plus seven great sword like I said for better or for worse what have you got in the backpack nothing all right oh I got some plate improved plate mail that's gonna be good Okay, so I got a storm heavy crossbow, but I haven't improved it. The the damage isn't that great, so that's fine. I think he's like, let me look at his skills. If I recall, he also developed a sword skill. And let's look at the eternal dagger while we have it. Thrust four, holy twenty five. All right, this is the next display. So yeah, my powers maxed out close combat I don't want to go over 250 it gets prohibitive past that point I'm sure I mentioned that before uh, I might improve awareness I might get that up to 250 uh, but he's in the back part of the of the fighting rank so I'll decide whether or not I want to do that it's only 150 experience so if I really want to do it then, then I'll go and do it so nothing in the backpack alright so this life drain longbow also came from the Alvis Tower in case I didn't uh, explain that before so it's got life drain damage and it has bow plus 50 so that's a really good weapon nothing in the backpack Alright, here are my regeneration items, if I'm not mistaken, we'll see. Okay, yeah, just regular staff, wand, staff, wand, oops, sorry, wand, wand, potion, potion. Alright, so we will have enough to uh, go through the flits and flitters, uh, returning back to the uh, elven lands, uh, which is, you know, uh, east of the desert area. There's only four main maps. Uh, for exploring uh, uh, around the uh, Necromancer Island, the the uh, Elven lands, which have some enemies. Uh, the uh, desert, which has the uh, there's a lot of variety in the desert. Uh, Dragonman, Antman, Sorcerers, Giants. 
uh, undead trees. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in that in, in that area. So uh, the the elven lands have uh, werewolves, undead, uh, a few minor pockets of demons, but not really that many. Um, I believe SRI's lair may also have demons besides SRI itself, but I'm not 100% sure about that. I do I do remember the demons guarding the demon bear Arcturus, so, and I will fully document that fight. I definitely plan to do that. Many fond and not so fond memories of facing it, so uh, I will definitely share that with you. Let's check G. So yeah, the 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 longbow, the stormbow. Uh, you can buy it in one of the Elven towns, or you can buy it in Green Bay, which is uh, after you defeat the Necromancer. But I can't remember which which place you buy it from. It, you could just check the the uh, the the store, so to speak, that the game has, and if it if if you don't see it, then you can always rest up and check the next day and see what they have to sell. That's pretty much how I obtained the items that I wanted. Was if they didn't have it, just rest the day and and wait and see what the next item was. So that's how I accumulated my. Elven rings, flame proof rings, the uh, storm longbow, uh, the spear. I'm trying to remember. Oh, yes, and the life drain great axe. So, a lot of items I accumulated just because I wrecked it up and I waited specifically for them. And he has a drain proof item too. All right, so I'm not too sure if I documented before. So, uh, our our person with the dwarven, the giant sounding dwarf hammer, he has a drain proof ruby. So, since a jewel is considered to use one hand, I can still use that shield. Well, that's worth a lot. Fourteen six eighty, so, but it's worth it. So, flame proof chainmail, our dwarf giant sling dwarf hammer, and of course, if we hit anybody with this thing, we may get uh, life force or damage taken away if we take in damage uh, during the fight, but. Against the demon bear Arcturus and his allies, they're going to throw out missile protection, no doubt. So this is going to be a totally worthless uh, item. So I have to, I have to, uh, I have to use magic blast or lightning or whatever against them. I might attempt a couple of cold blasts, but only against the demons. I'll see if it works or not. I suspect not, given that it's a low-level spell, but. A uh, freeze is effective against the swamp things, so uh, of course fireball is too if you can get the swamp things to group together, which they more often than not will do. Alright, so let's see here. Okay, so we've got fireball for a potion. Fireball, Magic Blast, okay, that's good. Magic Blast, alright. My Treat Disease Emerald, handy. Yeah, Disease is really nasty in Eternal Dagger. It will, if you don't take care of it, it become, it, your characters will accumulate fatigue and 
eventually the disease will stop but your fatigue will be so high you might as well almost not even have a character because he can't fight worth a darn so uh fortunately this this emerald uh solves that problem so and as you can see his treat disease skill is at 250 uh i kept treat poison at just 176 that was from wizard's crown that's that's enough to be effective so you don't need to you don't need much in regards to the treat poison skill you could probably get by with just 150 but 170 it's not that much difference it's just a little bit more experience but i feel it's a little bit worth it and for my memories of wizard's crown i think you need a little bit more uh, effective treat poison skill because of morale loss so here it's just fatigue and you can get away with 150 but i specifically developed it to 176 in wizard's crown so i'll just keep it that way all right what does he got fireball Fireball, Magic Blast, alright. So potions, on, potions and scrolls only have one use and then they're gone. Uh, wands may have one use or several. There's no telling. It's randomized to if you lose a wand during a fight, which will definitely happen, then you'll know. So. And staffs, I think, have the most uses overall because it seems like it can get a whole bunch of uses out of the staffs versus wands. But again, I think it's kind of randomized, so I'm not entirely sure about that. Wands may be just as good as staffs. Magic Blast, Fireball. Fireball, all right. Fireball becomes, uh, I would say, useless or borderline useless, uh, especially here on the on the dwarven land. I don't think that the dwarves themselves, if I run into one of their patrols, I'm pretty sure they'll resist or have no effect with fireball on them. I might uh, try it once or twice if they group up, but I doubt it's going to work. I'll try it. What have I got to lose? Substitute sorcery and, you know, a charge. whoop they do it. It's not like I can't afford to not do it, so I'll try at least a couple times. What does he got? Fireball, Magic Blast, Magic Blast, of course the Eternal Dagger, you've already seen that. Yeah, that Storm Dagger isn't much to write home about. Fireball. What's on the necklace? Is it a skill improvement? I can't remember. Oh, it's got magic blast on it. So, all right. I'm sure that that will go away pretty quickly. Magic blast. Fireball. Fireball. Magic blast. Magic blast. Magic Blast, Magic Blast, wow, Fireball, oops, sorry, I was going to check the scroll, Fireball, so, alright, Fireball, oops. Magic Blast, Magic Blast, Fireball, Magic Blast, now, given that I could still enchant some of my items, I don't want to do here in the Dwarven at Dwarf Hope because they charge double for it. Greedy little dwarfs that they are. 
They're not all greedy. There is one good group of dwarves on the entire island. One and one only. So I guess uh, you have to have the uh, the rebels of the dwarves that aren't greedy. But all right. Let's check our last guy. Fireball. Magic Blast. Magic Blast. Fireball. Magic Blast. And let's look at his backpack. Regeneration. Fireball. Okay, so we got one Fireball Staff in our backpack. Okay, so that is pretty much everything. So my plan is to, uh, given that the uh, dwarven lands, there's not really much of note in regard to enemies, with exceptions of the dwarven patrol, which I am almost certain to run into, and they'll most likely than not ambush me. Uh, SRI, but that's in its lair, and the Demon Bear Arcturus and its allies, but that's on the western side of the isle. So once I clear all that out, uh, with the exception of SRI, uh, then I'll go ahead and go into SRI's place and fight it and its allies. Uh, I'm not looking forward to that fight because they will nuke me and it will not be pleasant because there's not much that I can do in regards to spacing for my characters on that fight but they got 50 dexterity so we'll see how that goes uh, all right going into a track mode again no I don't want to leave camp So, I, I can't recall at Dwarf Hold if you get half of the value for items sold that you have or not. And if, if that's the case, it doesn't matter because it's the only place you can go to without returning to the uh, Elven location. So, and you already saw how much gold I had. So, so we have 750 gold. Add 120 go to that from Electrum. And as you can see, my life force is over 200 for some characters. But that's only because I have no other skill or stat worth improving. So, Loser already has 28 strength. There's no point in trying to go to 32. I don't think I'd make it before the end of the game. The same thing applies for the sword guy. He has 24 strength, so going for 28, which is the next damage increase. Again, I don't think I'd, I'd be able to make that. And everyone else is either at 200 life or they're getting there. So I think my sorcerers, yeah, the sorcerers are the back the last four characters so E, F, G, and H are my sorcerers so they're getting up there in regards to life so and I'll I'll, ch I'll improve their uh, stats specifically strength to get it up to 24 if they're not there already let's check them out real quick okay so he has 24 ready so he's not gonna go up anymore He has 24, so he's not going to go up. And he has 24, so I suspect they all do. Yes, they all have 24. So, yeah, they're not going to improve strength anymore. Does this improve life and life only? So we'll just keep going on that. So, yeah, there's, there's no point in trying to get to 28 strength. I just don't think I'm going to make it uh, and I might I might regret that choice we'll see uh, especially if uh, 
especially if uh, my characters uh, can reach it, but I'm pretty sure I cleared out the southeastern, well, some of the southeastern part of the aisle. I'll I'll check it out in this room and make sure. So I'll check around the southeast part and plus the area around SRI's lair, but I don't recall much uh, there that we might be able to run into and fight. So I might just run into just the demon there from this point on. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, I'll let you know on the next update. So that's either going to be when I fight the demon bear or uh, month four of next game year. So uh, I hope you have enjoyed my Let's Play session of Eternal Dagger thus far. And I always had planned to continue finishing. I am sorry that it's taken me seven, well, several years to get back and continue from the point that I left off. So uh, you had, you didn't miss much except for a few months of development for my characters. And as I mentioned, they're not going to be... Uh, they're not going to use the bow skill anymore, so they're just going to be substitute sorcerers. So that is my plan. So I, when I get to the underwater city, I'm just going to go through with as few fights as possible and just substitute sorcerer like crazy for everybody else that doesn't have bow or doesn't have spear. So yeah, that's uh, I'm sure that will be interesting. So. Um, We'll, we'll go from there. So, uh, again, thanks so much for watching. I, I hope you've enjoyed my sessions thus far. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.